Moses, eight years down the road, an old man I would guess, God confronts him in verse 1 and verse 2, especially verse 2 of Exodus chapter 4. And God asks him, what do you have in your hand? And the response is what? A rod, a staff. And you know, interestingly enough, Moses had excuses. He says, just a rod, just a staff. And sometimes we don't realize what we have in the hand in order to reach other people, in order to find other people, in order to win other people to the Lord. Sometimes I'm inadequate, I do not, and many times I've told you that you, you, don't, you do not need theological education or theological training for you to be a winner of soul. You don't need. What you need is a relationship with Jesus and what God has put in your hand you can use it to win souls to God. Moses says, I'm not worthy. I don't feel worthy. Moses says, I do not know your name. You're sending me. I don't know your name. Moses says, they will not believe me if I tell them. And Moses says, I'm not eloquent. I do not have what it takes to win somebody, to find somebody, to help somebody, to draw somebody to the Lord. In the midst of all this, God asks the same question. Moses, and God asks, Jane, Mary, Maggie, what is it that you have in your hand? And forgive me, blessed, that there's none of us who can categorically say, I have nothing. No. There's something that God has placed in your hand. For Moses, it was a rod. A simple shepherd's staff, a simple stick, but God was, is able to turn and make that thing more than just a shepherd stick. Hallelujah. Moses said a rod. And just as God used what was in Moses' hand to change the dynamics of the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land, God is able to take what you have and sometimes it's so insignificant. Sometimes it's so like nothing. You, you hold yourself and say, I don't think anything good can come out from what I have. As God used Moses' rod, God will also use you.